All right, All welcome right. back. Here we are uh, to one of the last streams, the last stream of the year. Unless we do next week. Are you gone next week? Actually, you didn't even. All right, we, yeah, don't, know. we don't know. We're figuring this out live on camera. We are not sure if we're here next week. All right, well, um, my name is Andrew. I am Avram on Discord, and uh, I'm the creative director here at Chinese Shoe and on Inkbound. And I'm me, I'm the community manager at Chinese Shoe, and this is the official Twitch channel for Inkbound. And what is Inkbound for anyone? What is Inkbound? Yeah. Let's let's uh, give them a little visual Sound, here. Yeah. Hop over online, roguelike, co-op, solo, level up your character, do all sorts of things. So we're gonna, yeah, we'll show you the game. It is turn-based combat, simultaneous turn-based combat, where you can play cooperatively with people and go in any order. Mumsy's saying, hmm, oh. Hmm. Maybe that's gonna apply to the idea that the sky is what is up. Um, and also we have first time chatter. Hi, Bubby0304. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining. Zag, hello. Beatbox, yeah. Monkey, Huron, Huron, sorry. Um, so yeah, we are playing a special, we're having a special stream today in that it's not the live version. Correct. Still. We are on, we are on the test version. We are going to our intention, you know, we, we still have a few bugs to fix, a few things to pull together, just to be sure, but our intention is to put a patch out for you folks with a few little updates next week. Um, sorry, wait, one so, second. You're still on almost... starting soon screen. Wait, uh, are we? Uh, Let us know if everyone's seeing that. We're okay, good. okay. Smooch says fine. We drew Smooch out of not chatting land just <laughs> to say we're fine. Okay. Um, I was, I was... Are these new chain breaker gloves? Are we spoiling things? Uh. Maybe a little bit. I just, I mean, this is yeah. the beta and I. Where are those? What are those from? I don't even know. Yeah, they're, I, I you, don't know. I just, kind of... I unlocked everything. I got yeah. all the cosmetics on this and these look like the coolest and they, they were like not the on the list of things that I'm not oh, allowed that's to fine. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's okay. I actually am not sure. Oh, no, I'm the from. one that's, re that's revealing secrets this time. Maybe. Yeah. Um, People have made stuff. Let's see. Uh, Smooch was looking at our page on Steam. So we got the notice for the discount. See us streaming. Yeah, check it yeah. out. Well, this is it. All right, we have a mission now. We have to get Smooch on board. Absolutely. Here, with actually. The game today. Um, yeah, Inkbound is 20% off right now. Um, so check that out. You know, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell whoever. Um, yeah, so let's let's talk about this new patch a little bit also for the other folks. And then we'll dive into a run, show some of that gameplay. Um, so there's two core things that, I mean, there's more than two, but like we're doing a bunch of updates, a bunch of little like tweaks, but I would say two of the features. So if you click the plus sign, I think it'll show you here, the, um, yeah. the kind of party finder. Yes. So, Hey, you can pick party size now. Um, there is also, um, some more matchmaking logic around finding people close to your rank. So it will expand over time. If you can't find anyone super close to your rank, it will like broaden it until it finds someone but it will more likely put you in a party with someone who is close to your rank. So two strong improvements there to the party finder. All right, that was it here. Pro's is very excited about that. Finally. Finally. Party Good. side finding, yep. yeah. Yep, it's been asked for, and here it is. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What are what kind of run? Are we just gonna do a quick, a quick 20? Today we are doing our Christmas party around the office. So that's happening as we speak or very soon, as soon as we leave this room. So we're gonna kind of do a quick run today. Um, not chill quite as much, but let's, um, yeah, up to yeah, you. What do you uh, play? Well, let's see, I think we should do a deep dive. Ermong, what? Um, let's see, yeah, I think we should do a deep dive. What rank would we be? Let's see. I'm seeing 20. Yeah, okay, so let's do a deep dive. Cause you said that there has been some uh, tuning changes There's too? some tuning changes, okay. yep, totally. Um, quick. Yeah, you guys will just have to make decisions oh, sorry, promptly. Try to. Um, yeah. So the way the runs work for those those new folks in the channel, uh, you they try to and ranked runs are if you win you go up a rank. Although twenty is the max, and then um, there's also like victory boards and victory things you can earn. Um, it changes some modifiers of the game. We won't try to read them all. This won't even make sense to people who are kind of watching for the first time anyway. So we'll just confirm on by this, but. You can know that as you go up in ranks, it adds new modifiers, makes the game a bit harder. Um, this is where you choose the boss you're gonna fight. And that said, 
Um, well, we might not get all the way to the end because right, you we might not get all the way to the end. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you will. Oh, we got to start a little bet. You want to start our bet? Or well, do we, we just not know if you're going to die? Uh, that's fair. Yeah. We won't. We won't do one today. Yeah, we're not gonna do. Um, we're not gonna do. A there is some slight. Yeah. So I was the tuning change. There's some slight increased health scaling in multiplayer because things have been just dying a little too fast. So you guys will probably run into that on this stream, and I'm actually interested in seeing how it goes. So I'm just gonna choose a really some of the trinkets, such as these. Oh, actually, if you go back real quick, um, no, to that to the trinket page. Oh, sorry. Um, go back to that first page. And then these middle ones, these kind of like core theme ones, yeah, those, um, they've been simplified. So it gives a bonus to the set and it also makes the ability show up more in drafts. This was kind of a big, I would say it came from our tester, our closed tester group. A lot of them wanted to be simplified and to be a little more direct about giving you a bonus into that set, into that ability. So those do that now, gives you access to the source of that type of status effect. Um, Clay Mintinator says, love Inkbound. Thank you. Yeah. So and Preceratops also says, I really, ooh, I really like that. I always re-roll those. Get those. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's in there. Um, and for, yeah, again, for the new folks, you do pick your class. Um, unless you're doing a daily challenge, you do pick your trinket, which is a little bit of an extra modifier that we just chose. We just went through some. Um, now we're picking the book we're going into in higher ranks or in rank play. These have little modifiers. Otherwise, it just changes the enemies you're facing. And here we go. So we'll show a little combat here in just a second. You get a few initial choices to upgrade some abilities. Mm. Uh, I think, oh yeah, we also, we might've shown this last week, but um, if you look at the abilities on this class in particular, the Chainbreaker, it is getting some new icons. They are designed to be easier to read at a glance. We felt the other ones looked a little too similar to all three. All three icons look similar to each other. So we updated these to make them have more contrast between each other. Make it easier to see which one you're upgrading on different picks, different drafts. Um, there's also a ton of new VFX for different abilities and ascensions, which we may or may not get to, but those are in. We'll uh, drop those patch notes. Also, I'm really excited the new one. The new one. Well, just I like I that I change this color. Oh sure, totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Right, and so here we are. So for the new folks, we are in combat. Um, the way it works is uh, player turn, then enemy turn. The players can interleave their abilities at any given time, um, and you can basically take you know whatever order you want to go in. There's buffs, there's debuffs, things you can use. So that's what they're doing right now, basically, is they're all using their different abilities, they're attacking different enemies, which previously, with previous scaling, was a little more effective. Right now, enemies have more hit points in multiplayer, so you kind of got to focus fire a bit more, or not, and take that damage. Or Night Owl is going to take that damage and suffer for all of your sins. Um, so, oh, that's uh, a lot. Claimant Theta asks, are we planning on adding a bleed trinket? Let me double check. I know that's been on the list. And I know we're doing more trinket work for our next big update. Early next year is our 1.0 launch. We are going to announce that date. Not today, but we'll announce that probably at some point early next year as well, obviously. Need to. Um, but yeah, that's coming. So we're working on improved controller support, new true final boss, bunch of other improvements, bunch of other tuning, all sorts of things. When can we play this beta, says Huron, this will be going live this week. This week? Next week. Oh, we're not um, this week yet. Next week. Next week, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, what challenge about these guys have? Yeah, they're juggernaut. <laughs> So that's why they are they have become bosses. It's pretty awful. Oh. Yeah, the new final boss is designed. It is an optional boss, although some victory board and some other objectives will be tied to it. Some quests. Oh, there's a bunch of new quests coming. Basically getting you all to the end of the story. Um this, book, this challenge buff. Um is, yeah, is all coming. So, yeah, just a bunch of new content. Um, really looking forward to it, especially around like making the game feel complete. 
Um, we want to tell that whole story. So right, so the, the new True Final Boss is designed, if you are like single phasing um, the villains, this is designed for you. You can't always do it. There's going to be a bar to enter, even its arena. It's after the villains. Um, it is designed to be a challenge, it's designed to be optional. You can rank up, obviously, without doing it. The rest of the game still works that way. But it is there to really, really push your best builds. They're also playing on rank 20, right? Yeah. So, rank 20, especially in, in group play, was feeling a little easy. So, a little hard. Um, Crowstone, are there plans to incentivize choosing different villains? Um, there are. We are looking, generally, in 1.0, more variety on guardians and villains. We are, we are pushing their uh, use of different mutators and modifiers on those to help push, um, yeah, basically how they feel to fight. We, feel, we felt like our guardian fights, our villain fights had lower variety than we wanted, so we wanted to give them more variety, more polish. Olivia asks, I know it isn't super new anymore as it came out a while ago, but the reworked Trinket system has really improved the field of build in game. I just recently got to play with it as my grad school semester ended, but I've loved it. Oh, great. Thank you. Good, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to choose. Smooch, is there a single player mode for you? Have a hard time convincing friends to play games. Yes. Um, half our players just play solo, basically. Solo totally works. Enemies scale their difficulty based on number of players. Um, so yeah, solo is completely playable and you can do all the quests and all the objectives pretty much in single player. Um, Clay Mentonator, I haven't tried, but any plans on Steam Deck support? Uh, great question. We are, yeah, we're generally resolving pretty much everything with Steam Deck for 1.0. We are doing a lot of work on controller support. Um, we are doing, um, some other work for like offline mode and things like that. So Steam, won't, Steam Deck won't complain at you. It's easy to play offline. If you want to play offline. And um, yeah, I think the only thing that we are not going to do that Steam Deck wants is anything with font scaling, most likely. So the font sizes will probably still be a little tiny, but everything else for the Steam Deck um, should generally be supported. Actually, let's do an easy one. Boosted Mayo. Any plans to reach the new class in the next patch or 1.0? Um, we are not going to do a new class. We are really focused on polishing the rest of the game. Class would take a lot of work on our part. We've had a lot of great time adding all the current ones. We want to add more. Uh, that said, for 1.0, we are focusing our polish time on everything else about the game. Uh, you answer her in her own. Uh... Um, Are the damage to health numbers getting balanced proportional to player numbers? Yes, I think. So if I understand your question correctly, um, if like these, if the health scaling is proportional to the number of players being balanced, is that correct? We did update those numbers. It currently does scale. It's scaling more now. Um, again, we kind of felt, you know, especially if you watched last few streams, folks were rolling through with more players. Rank 20. <laughs> so this is making them do more work. Okay, how many, how many can They're playing fast. They're not doing a lot of coordination. No one's built completely broken yet. Man, should have put that. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what I can do. There we go. See, uh, yeah, use your, use your potions. Yeah. Fighting in three players, the game feels decent on enemy damage. Four players, there's some encounters where the bosses are just one or two hitting everyone. Um, I can take a look. Also, always feel free F8 that hit F8. If people don't know about F8, um, we can hit it real quick right now. It takes a screenshot, it sends it to us. I always love to get feedback. I read absolutely everything that comes in. Um, so, text and text, this works on live, send it in, goes straight to the team. Uh, 
We have um, a Slack channel. Actually, since we have this on, when is it helpful for players to send replays? Very rarely. Only if you think something is incredibly complicated or really unknowably, like basically, uh, if an event happened, a specific event happened that was really, really confusing that you think we might not be able to suss out, send the replay. Otherwise, if it's about the game state, it's fine not to. Like basically, that's kind of an exception. The F8 shows other party members that you are offline. Interesting. Huh. Uh, is that like with the little icon that appears above your head? That might have, that used to be something else, but um, maybe. Maybe they got you. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll take a look at that. It's good to know. Yeah, it's doing great. No problems at all. Okay. Um, sure. That's fantastic. What else do I got? Ooh. Am I going to already max this out? I think yes. And, hmm. Oh, love that. I guess burn might be good. Let's see burn, why not? Who left the barrier potion down below? <laughs> Who's it? People pinging. I don't know. There we go. Uh, also, a few fun facts for people who uh, I know a lot of you in the stream know about all the, the deep lore, the deep secrets, but you can control click, click fish on the ground to consume it. And if you ping something that has dropped for you individually and you're at a party, it will instantly share it with everyone. So if you want other people to be able to get that thing that's on the ground because you don't want it, you don't need it, ping it. It will share it. Never managed to eat fish off the ground. Oh, God. Let's do this. You need a tip screen. Yeah, we added some like loading tips to the chat actually to kind of spit them out. They haven't been updated in a while. I don't think anyone really reads them. So, you know, we need to have a longer loading time so we can add tips. Hmm. I've put people in the library. Yeah, we can have like a a fact board that like does some chatter or something when you walk by, like. Did you know? If you press G, you'll paint, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, on HGD. Keeps is. loading times up, great. Hey. Uh, oh, we also, we didn't show stats. All right, so let's show stats real quick. This is also coming in the update next week. So if we go to the logbook, it's called actually records. So we already have stats, records, you have to click that. Um, there's still some work in progress here, so don't take anything as gospel, but yep, there's three categories. There's seasonal runs. So this is like best in a run. Uh, it will reset between seasons. Um, seasonal totals, which are total amount of things you've done that season. How many times have you defeated the different bosses? Uh, healing, you've done all that. And then all time totals. So this is where your previous season levels will go that you can, you know, screenshot and show off. Uh, the number of cosmetics you own, runs, wins, losses. So um, we'll probably, and, you know, we're gonna increase this list as well with 1.0. This is kind of our first pass at it. Uh, but we wanted to add a little feature for you guys in this update since, you know, there's been a longer time between updates. So this, the matchmaking and some other general improvements. You can also delete your character now if you want to, things like that. Uh, and then at the end of the run, and this is where there's more polish currently happening. We're working on the bugs today. But if we finish this run, if they die, we'll see it. Or maybe we'll just abandon it and show you guys. Um, it will show you your new personal bests. And if you play a mode like Daily Challenges, where you have no personal bests or no one has new ones, it will actually compare you to the other players in your party and say who did things the most. So who died the most could show up, who got the most orbs, who did the biggest hit, things like that. So 
Um, it will show you personal bets, new personal bets first, but as you play the game longer and longer, you get fewer of those, and it will start showing you party uh, comparisons, party personal bests. And also dailies, because dailies get a little wild. Those do not record new scores. Um, so that will always show you that. But this could be it. This battle is looking grim for you guys. I know. That's why I didn't want to do the prediction at the beginning. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like... Sorry, team. Sorry. Um, Her run says, will it go last run? Sorry, do you already say do you that board? No, it just, it, it pick, right now it just picks some at random to show you that you earned that are new for what it's worth, and then it updates all of them. Um, kind of like an implementation we did on Monster Train. It's a little more on the simpler side, but... Um, yeah, we can take some feedback once it's out there. Okay, yeah. spread that Axel, damage around. We're waiting for one person. Yeah, you're waiting for, for Axel. Yep. Here. Here they don't want in that turn. Night out. Oof. Oof. Sure. Like, okay. It's gonna be my chance. I know. Brewers AOE was wrong. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you for sending it. Uh, I want to make a note to go look at that before I have too much holiday cheer. Um, okay. Maybe if I grab all those. These are all <laughs> Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, AOE attacks. They're all. They're uh, all no, I don't good. want to be the last one here. Oh, don't do it. Okay. I believe in us. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a Bubby. That's my fault. That's that's a typo on my part. I'm sorry. Wow. That's my fault. I know. I must have, yeah. Which, which one was in there? I know. Which one? I probably, uh, yeah. You think of? Erasing yeah. Weaver or something. I love Weaver. Well, <laughs> no, all right. All right. I guess we have to remove one now. Make sure that's right. Oh, how I, I forgot. To be, oh, I'm sorry. That's my. No one believes in God. That's the one. All right. <laughs> I got actually be strategic. There's there. also okay. a small buff in this patch to what we call the medium enemies, things like inklings. Actually, it's medium and small. Anything that's like a smaller, medium, small sized unit. Um, generally got a little more hit points, maybe about 20% total hit points. They've just been dying too fast in battles, basically, to be interesting. Um, so they're a little more beefy, but not a whole lot. Trying to complete the victory board. Yeah, uh, it's important. Uh, there will be a new victory board. We also heard a lot of feedback there. We want to remove some of the RNG from it. We want to make the multiplayer stuff a little less onerous, for example. So uh, there will be a new victory board update with 1.0 as well. With new rewards. There's no spot that's safe. No. Nope. Maybe over here. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's, that's the that's the, pro that's the only okay. Pro move is to hide out there. Hey, oh, wow. the Great Nero. Just saw this on Steam today. I think I shall pick it up. Oh, great. Oh, no, a few people Yay. figuring out through that sale. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's safe? Okay. Huh. Okay. Thank you, Axel. Nice. Magic Pixel. You found it. Yeah. I found the one. Uh, Glacia, I agree. I think Weaver is really, really great in multiplayer, but I also personally find it pretty hard. Let's see. Who should I try to push back? This guy, I think, has the. This guy. Here we go. Okay. Maybe this guy back too, so we can get a safe spot. Yes, here we go. Alright, safe zone. Complete.
Yeah, you guys are doing good, but you're you're running out of space. <laughs> now that that uh. No, no, no. no. Yeah, like. Hey, no? how much is he doing? Twenty one. It's pretty good. What's his butt? Oh wait, yeah. there was wait wait oh yes. Oh, somebody took no. I actually don't uh, do it. Boosted. Meow? 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 Uh, with villains beginning changes with polishing, runestone mechanics can be ignored most of the time. It turns and just hit the boss. Yeah, villains are getting a little more just mechanics in general. Uh, they're getting a few more adds usually as well, spawning some more stuff. Uh, because it's just more interesting to have more things to hit, more things hitting you, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah. Four damage, nice. Wait, wait, um, I had it there. Okay. So, yeah, we're looking at kind of all the boss mechanics and boss variety in general. Also, the second book, Guardian, and the villains are kind of undertuned right now as well. Um, I would say expect the game to get a bit harder, um, notably to some degree, uh, especially higher difficulties on live on this 1.0 patch that's coming again, not until next year. Um, but we generally find the game is a little easy right now for what we want. So we are working a lot on balance and tuning. In fact, we are kind of wrapping up all the features we're gonna have in that, except for things like controller and localization, which are coming but have more, more to do. We're wrapping up a lot of those really early next year. And then we're gonna do a lot of just like tuning and polish with our testers to make sure the game is just really, really solid place for that launch. So less new content, still a lot of exciting stuff, um, but a lot of polish and a lot of balance and a lot of tuning. And more variety. Actually, we directed box. it. Ah. <laughs> you, I like, you guys are really, uh, really going for the gold here. I like it, no. I like it. Why would we keep redirect that? Um, Things happen. Maybe if I take the one I can get. Uh, no, no. Magic pixel, magic pixel, where is it? <laughs> we actually, it's it's been nice on the controller that you can like step a little more gently. So we're actually gonna try to update WASB to help them give you a little more. There. Oh. But yeah. is there enough room for both of you? This is, uh, this is real Titanic right now. I know, this really? Like <laughs> your, uh, your, ah. your what's her name? And, and he's Jack out in the ocean. My Rose. Or she's, she's Jack. Um, yeah, you're Rose. This is it. Okay, okay. okay. Only room for well, one no, of you only, on that magic pixel. If I, maybe if I, no, I can't. Okay. Nice. You're doing well. <laughs> you're doing good, but you know it's the same problem. It's gonna just happen on the next turn. Yeah. Uh, so some the enemy. Back. Tried. Yeah, you guys. You guys. You're doing good. I'm like, you know, you can't judge only on results. I think we'll get out of the way. We might just be delaying the inevitable at this point. But Maybe. You're, you're stacking up those. I think I think the burrower is going to be a real problem, in my opinion, because <laughs> you're not getting a lot of damage. What's that? Actually, I'm running to that shadow guy. What's that shadow guy buff? It's possible. Rockator. If not hit for a turn. Yeah, right. That's right. Uh, that's awful. Oh, don't leave. <laughs> You're just gonna no. take this last turn. Good. No, don't leave. I still know. All right, all right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I don't. I you really don't think I do. I really don't think I do. You. Chat is all behind you. No, I'm. I'm very upset Should have right got now. out of the bet today. I oh, know. This, this was wrapping up right on time. It all worked out perfectly. <laughs> Don't believe in me. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Yeah, I, I, you gotta like face that. You gotta face it and then move. Like that would be safe if you face it that direction. Yeah. Let's see. So I think you can at least get out of turn. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Try this. Ask Santa for the win. Indeed. <laughs> I hate this so much. Okay, let's see. First, I'm going to try to get as much burn. Yeah, that direct attack is going to do it. I think, I think 
multiplayer damage scale. I can probably come down a little bit from here now that the health is up. Health is up, but um, yeah, he's right. Be Pretty good that, that, that. Okay, but now we can show off the right. the this is gonna have some bugs. Just gonna say that right now. We're working on today. For example, these characters should be going on that further to the right, not where they are right now, not hidden behind there. Um anyway, so here's the new run end screen. Uh a lot of the same info. However, um it has also, yeah, these uh new best. So most in the run, most in the run, most in the run. Um you got the most orbs collected. Wow, is I that feel, surprising? No, I know. I feel like particularly called out now. So now there's an official screen to call me out for being right, the right the, the orb, the orb, orb hog. Yeah, <laughs> the orb goblin. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, shields applied. You you applied the most shields, also, probably to yourself, but um, burn stacks and burn damage. So. Uh, we're also fixing a thing here. Everyone should see the same ones. I think right now you just see your personal ones, but everyone should see the same ones here so they can really compare it. So, um, um, all right. So I'm going to do a quick giveaway for people. Here at Dusk Edge says group finds the hit point scaling early in the runs too much, but not enough by the end game. Yeah. That's like also kind of probably generally a solo and not just hit point scaling thing. Um, we're working on book two. We're doing more of those bigger changes in the 1.0 patch, basically just to like bundle them all up because it comes along with a lot of other changes. But we do generally feel that book two is too easy right now. And book one is closer to where we want it. All right, so this is gonna be a quick giveaway. Um, you can choose between 1000 Vault Dust, a code for 1000 Vault Dust or Scribbles. Scribbles is this little purple cat emote. Uh, which I don't want to, which right now it's not really working out. Here, let's just do this like this. And cannot be bought, cannot be found anywhere else but in the giveaways. And yeah, so is there anything you want to recap while I, I mean, um, we like two more minutes. Sure, we can hang out. Yeah, yeah, now this will all be coming out next week. Yep, yeah, I feel like I said it all a bunch, but um, feel free to, yeah, if you have other questions, we can also catch them in chat. Um, Still doing some tuning, obviously. So all these changes will be coming to the build or live for next week. Mm -hmm. Everything on here. Everything that you With saw. Some fixes. With the <laughs> um, yeah, Doodles is behind the scenes preparing to summon the final boss, and that's it. We don't know yet if we're going to be streaming next Friday. Right, we don't. We'll uh, figure that out and yeah. announce it. Yep. And yeah, I don't know. We're I, I don't know, I'm excited for 2024 and stuff and after the holidays. Absolutely, and, yeah. no, we got so much coming. Uh, it's gonna be really big, really exciting. So we're gonna be a little quiet right now, a little radio silent for, you know, the holidays. And then next year is gonna be a big one. So looking forward to it and showing you guys what we have coming. All right, we got one more minute. Uh, enter the giveaway if you want. Scribbles or 1000 Vault Dust. I will get that to you after the party because they're already starting to eat everything out there. Rude. That, yeah. About our mustard pizza. I know. Yay, really looking forward to it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. And also, is there princess cake? I should have got You should have got cake. Why I, did it? Maybe for launch. Maybe yeah, maybe for launch. Yeah, we did it for early access launch. And it was, I don't know. Did you like the Swedish princess cake? I did. It's, yeah. it's delicious. It's delicious. You know, it's Everybody should have to try it once in their life. Big account, Thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. How's good evening? Uh, it's good afternoon here. Hope we're well. Thank you. How's the weather? Uh, it's actually terrible here. The air quality is very bad. We have a high pressure containment system. Don't recommend it. Anyway, but it's sunny. It is. Do you not sunny. like the sun? Uh, the sun's nice. I like breathing though. Too. Do you like? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to draw five winners right now. Right? Symbolic, congratulations. DM me on Discord. Huron, congratulations. DM me and let me know what you want to win. Triceratops, congratulations. Scribbles or Vault Dust. 
come and get it. Mega Chaos Man, congratulations. Night Owl, Night Owl is also a play tester, so I'm gonna draw one more person. Rude. No, Night Owl can get their prize, but I'm also gonna get They're one to play to right, Congratulations. Great. Night Owl can have whatever they want. Yeah, they, Night Owl they can help have us test. Yeah. <laughs> so much stuff. And Night Owl can have everything, yeah. Um, and yeah. All right. Well, we'll maybe see them next week. Next week, or awesome. maybe not. Or are you gonna stream on Wednesday, no matter what? Yeah, I'm gonna stream next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll be here. So fantastic. Great. Yeah. Great. And yeah, so if you didn't win, you can get you can you'll be able to enter another giveaway. Let me start a raid two. We've got Minku who is playing right now, so we will raid their channel. And that's it. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much for joining. See you next week. See you all. Thank you.